Meghan is bashing and threatening the Queen and royal family again. Meghan, the daughter-in-law from hell, is at it again. She doesn't stop, does she? I really feel sorry for the Queen. Look at her, she's so feeble. She's already so old. What does this daughter-in-law want to do to her? Welcome to Royalty Bus, my channel. I'm Gracie. Come to this place for your weekly dose of royal news and commentaries. My video today is based on an article entitled Megan the Duchess by Alison P. Davies, which appeared on the online card magazine. It was published on Monday this week. Alison is a very talented feature writer. I actually enjoy reading the article, if not for the fact that it's all about this obnoxious woman. I think it is a very well written article. She has been handpicked by Megan to write the article. In the words of Alison, Megan's life now is described as the best of all worlds. A palace in a better climate, still culturally considered royalty, while having freedom from the royal family. A level of celebrity that exceeds what she could have gotten through suits all the tape. She's now happily ensconced with her little family and Harry in Montecito. Look at her house, look at her mansion. It is a palace. And look at Megan. Doesn't she appear so pretty, so elegant? We must give it to her that she looks good here. But if she's living her best life, why is she bashing the royal family again? What are some of the accusations hold at them? Well, she accuses them of discrimination, racism, being controlling and oppressive. I will only talk about the discrimination and racism portion. First, she accuses the Queen and the royal family of practicing favoritism and being unfair to them because there are other royal family members who are working royals. But Harry and her were denied this option. So they have no choice but to completely relocate to California. Notice the royal title is highlighted in red. Okay, as you can see, Megan is still making use of her title, a title so generously bestowed upon her by the Queen. And yet, is she grateful? Well, we all know the answer. Anyway, back to the suffering that she went through when she was in the royal family. Oh, how she suffered. Okay, and she was saying, anything to just because just to be existing, we were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy. So we go, okay, let's get out of here. Happy to. When Alison asked her for the reason for denying Harry and her to stay somewhere else and continue to be working royal, she responded with a side eye, suggesting that Alison should know without being told. So, I read through the article carefully and my takeaway is it is implied that Megan was not accepted because of the following reasons. Alison wrote, it could be the very reason she was considered a breath of fresh air at first and then a supernova, biracial, divorcee, self-made millionaire, clothes horse, which only highlighted the ways in which the monarchy was becoming irrelevant to a younger generation. Worse, the ways that it was deeply flawed. To that, it could be just because she's black. Now, I omitted some uh, words here and there, okay? But these are words that are not important in the sense that they do not change or alter the meanings of the text. 
Edison also wrote, or maybe it's because by the time she met and married Harry, she was already a fully formed American woman, self-made, self-refined. My, what is the article trying to imply about women in the royal family? That they are all hopeless cases? They are not self-made, they have no ambition? They are not talented? They are not refined? You make your own inferences. And so the poor queen. And to think they are still subjecting to constant bashing is really... Sigh. And then when Alison brought up the question about forgiveness, whether there's any possibility, any place for Megan to forgive the royal family as well as her own family, her answer was, I really make an active effort to forgive. Especially knowing I can say anything. Oh my, especially knowing I can say anything. Megan's claws are extended again. Now, if you don't see the underlying threat, let me make it clearer to you. In fact, I don't find an underlying threat. It is a very explicit threat. I'll make it very clear for you. It's interesting. I never had to sign anything that restricts me from talking. These are exact words from Megan in the article. I have a lot to say until I don't. Do you like that? Wow, isn't it scary? What kind of daughter-in-law is this? She's so unhappy she left the place. Why is she still lashing out at them? Why is she still bashing them? Why is she still attacking them? Apparently, her time at the royal family was so painful that after four years, she's, in her own words, still healing. Oh, oh, poor Megan. I'm coming to the end of my video and I couldn't help but did a little album of the Queen and then William and Kate with the children and of course Kate on her own looking so gorgeous as usual and then William and Kate at work. I've come to the end of the video. Please press the subscription and like buttons. Stay safe and well. See you soon.